Yes, an Air Force disabled veteran says a year ago he nearly took his own life. Instead, he created a nonprofit to advocate for mental health treatment and suicide prevention. Molly Jett sat down with Bradley Clay to find out what he's doing to help others in tonight's top story. For this Air Force disabled veteran, September is not just another month. I put this on here because it's the date I attempted suicide and then underneath it says 22 with it crossed out 21 on this day because the number 22 represents 22 veterans a day that commit suicide. Bradley Clay calls himself a suicide survivor. One year ago this month I attempted suicide um, and was in the hospital for four for four weeks. Afterwards, Clay says he suffered a stroke and had a temporary pacemaker. After weeks of therapy, he says he started to see he wasn't alone. That many others also suffered from complex PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Not a whole lot of people speak out for that kind of stuff, and it needs to be. So in July, Clay founded Beard of Hope Inc., a nonprofit to end the stigma of mental illnesses. Someone that is struggling with suicidal thoughts is not always the depressed person that is moping around and stuff. Sometimes it's somebody that's happy. He also aims to help others who cannot afford mental health services. Even with insurance, therapy and, and, and everything you need for, for your mental health can be expensive. So now, nearly a year later, I'm proud of it. Um, Clay reflects on where he was. Because I know where I was at before. And where he is now. And I've come a long way. Hoping by sharing his story of September 26, someone hears it's okay to not be okay. And you can ask for help. In Warner Robbins, Molly Jett, 13 W MAZ News. For more information on Beard of Hope Inc., you can head to 13WMAZ.com. And in light of Suicide Awareness Month this Thursday, Houston County Family Connection hosting a panel for their Sound the Alarm Suicide Prevention and Awareness event. It's happening at the Curtis Event Center on Watson Boulevard at 6 p.m.